three houses have come to Dune once more. I welcome back to Dune 2. Welcome to the second Harkonnen mission and welcome to the last variant thereof. But before we do that, let's watch this nice little animation once more. I like these tactical maps. Even though this one doesn't really, it doesn't really make any difference which mission you choose because all of the territories here will get conquered. So there's, there's no real tactical choice. I kind of like that in in Emperor, but I wish they they had had driven that concept a little bit further. For example, what they could have inc included is stuff like if if you conquer this territory, then you start with more troops from there, and you get like one or two bonus u bonus units. Or if you conquer this one here, which is very spice rich, then in future missions you have a slightly higher higher starting amount of spice. Stuff like that. That would have been nice. In fact, I almost wish why I'm not why am I not building stuff? I almost wish they had combined the first Dune, which was almost well, comes the first Dune. It's it came out shortly before the before Dune 2. But they had combined that one a little bit with this one here. So you'd have the planet management thing, but you'd also have the actual real-time battles. Well, you do have real-time battles in, in the first unit, but you don't have control of of any troops. Instead, you just send the troops there and then they fight out the battle. You can intervene, but it's not like a proper real-time battle as you have it here. I wish they had driven that concept a little bit further, because that has, that has some potential and it's essentially a Considering how the game is set up, it would be a natural thing because the the storyline is ultimately uh, not it's not so focused that you couldn't do that. It's not like in, in Red Alert where I mean you could do that with a European tactical map, and you do actually have a world world domination mode in Red Alert 2, and you do have the the North Africa, Europe, and the North America and Central America domination mode in Tiberian Sun. But those aside, uh, you don't really have a campaign where it would make a lot of sense because the campaign is ultimately too story driven. I guess you could have like tactical missions in between and then have some story missions on occasion as you do have it in Emperor Battle for Dune, but um, it would make more sense for this game here. Essentially it's just here you are, conquer Dune. It's the same for every house and the storyline is essentially the same for everyone. Oh damn, they are, they're Spice Harvesters right here. Warnings. Actually, to run the Spice Harvester, I could probably crush all of these guys here, so it is sort of a dangerous unit, I suppose. So what the hell are you doing? Let's actually attack you, because I think that... Let's just do that, so... I'll be, that will probably make them angry, but I don't really care. What's up with you? Where are you? Oh, you're actually trying to crush... Oh, you are actually trying to crush these guys. Oh, that's, that's not going to work. That will actually be the end of you. Not that it really matters because they will just instantly get a, a free harvester, but I think it was kind of amusing, wasn't it? Arconian yep, they get a few. Deployed. You could, well, you could swear that that carrier was just waiting there, which raised the question whether they didn't give us that harvester in the first place, because the same would happen to us if we lost both of our harvesters here. Well, the answer is obviously it's a video game, but I can still complain about it. Yes. Enemy unit destroyed. So, Warning, Atreides unit approaching. Yep, yeah, that's okay. So you sound really out of breath. I think you're probably out of breath from sounding so evil. Also, we Enemy only need two destroyed. more loads of spice and then we're done. Warning. Yeah, the Akonan, I said before, they have the... They have, oh, let's actually try actually do that again. There's the heaviest units. Their their special unit, the the Devastator is it's alright. I don't really like it all that much because it's just too explodey. And I'm not quite sure how good its firepower actually is. Whether it's really all that much better than a siege tank or a medium tank. It probably is, but in my opinion it doesn't compare to the the Sonic tank. The Sonic tank is actually quite neat. Oh yeah, there we go. We generate some spice here. The Sonic tank is is kind of fragile, but at the same time it deals a good amount of damage. It does deal area damage or rather line damage, and its its firing range is actually influenced by the speed. Only on the fastest speed it shoots across the entire screen, and does actually outrage artillery, which is great. 
and due to its big range, it doesn't really need defense that's all that strong. I can kind of compensate. That's what makes the Sunny Tank so good. And of course, now it's a lot more convenient to use with this mod here. In the original version, I don't recall it being that, that handy, but that might have been a game speed issue. Anyway, we're done here. So let's see what our rank is. Sand Warrior. So we're no longer Desert Mongoose, we are Sand Warrior. Probably because we killed two Harvesters. Which wasn't all that bad, was it?